All right, I was on DistroWatch the other day and I saw that this has been around for a long time. Just one of those things I never got around to having a look at. And of course, I'm speaking about Oracle GNU Linux. And this is based on Red Hat 6.5 that just released. And I'm gonna have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, before I even start this, I'm going to first say I've never looked at this distribution before, and so I probably wouldn't even call it a review. Uh, but like I said, curiosity killed the cat, and I wanted to have a look at this, so I figured I'd turn on my camera and let you guys experience this one with me. Now, this is using GNOME 2.3. I went ahead and removed the bottom panel, because I only like one panel on the screen. All right, and this is running a newer kernel. This is running Linux 3.8. But most of the software that this comes with is a little bit older. But that is to be expected because when you run an enterprise level distribution, you're looking for stability. You want something that is hard as a rock and something that's gonna be different, you know, difficult for would-be hackers to get into your system, especially if you are serving up web pages uh, from an e-commerce site that you have running from your home, or maybe you uh, have a financial, you know, you're offering financial services and that sort of thing, and you want to have, you know, uh, encrypted, secure transactions between your your uh, server and your uh, client uh, who's using your services. So this is where you would need a distribution such as this. Now, the reason I'm able to look at this, unlike Red Hat, is the fact I signed up for an account and I still never gotten a download link to an ISO image so that I could even play with it. This will let you do that without signing up. Just by clicking on the link that is provided by DistroWatch, you can download uh, the uh, ISO image. It is 3.6 gigs in file size and it does give you some options for different installations, such as uh, I installed the desktop, and that's what you're seeing here on the screen, but they have a, fi uh, a, a high availability option. Not really sure what that does. They have a server option, and they have the a resilient storage option. Really have no clue what these are. Like I said, curiosity killed the cat. Just wanted to download it and play with it. So I downloaded the and installed the, uh, you know, when given the option, I uh, had it installed the desktop version just so that I could at least play with this a little bit and see what you get with this. So a newer kernel, but older stable software comes loaded with this good idea. At the upper right corner of the screen, uh, this is where you can uh, lock your screen or you can quit a, a calendar with the time. And uh, ah, that's kind of cool too. I kind of forgot about this. It's letting me know that there are security updates available. However, in order to get those security updates, you need to have an account with Oracle to download and install those. So you're going to need to pay to use this distribution. Let's go ahead and close this notification here. Battery indicator, your network, and a volume control. Uh, Tomboy for your notes. You do have a quick access to a mail reader and of course the Firefox web browser. Uh, your system preferences and administration is located here. Okay, very simple, very easy to use. Uh, quick access to your places and then uh, a simple assortment of uh, applications come preloaded with this. You get an archive manager, a calculator, your character map, a dictionary, uh, a simple text editor, uh, a note-taking software. You can manage your passwords and encryption keys. You can also take a screenshot for sharing with a support representative your, if you're having problems. Just a simple image viewer comes preloaded with this. You get uh, the Firefox web browser for your internet, a CD audio extractor, Brazero for burning disks, cheese webcam booth, a movie player, and the Rhythmbox music player. And then, of course, a number of system tools, automatic bug record, uh, re reporting, a CD DVD creator, disk usage analyzer, disk utility, 
file browser, a system monitor, and the terminal. Now, some of you may be saying, well, geez, you just mentioned that this is 3.6 gigs in file size, so where is everything? Well, you do have a local repository in this disk. This is why it is 3.6 gigs in file size. So when we open this, okay, you can go into packages here and you will see there are 3,775 of them. Yep, no, it's 3,755 of them. Okay. <laughs> So, if you want to get the GIMP, it's in here. It's there for you to install. They're all RPM packages, and I imagine that if we were to double-click them, they would install. So, why don't I just do that? Just do a search for GIMP here. All right, and uh, we'll double-click on this. Do you want to install it? Oh, of course we do. And then just by double-clicking, it's going to go into resolving dependencies and possibly install this for us. And I hope it will be able to do that just by uh, selecting the package from these packages here. But alternatively, I imagine we could open up its software center and then assign. Okay, it's saying 10 additional packages have to be installed. So we can go ahead and install them. It needs a password. Well, that install seemed painless enough. All I had to do was just pick out the package that I wanted to install, double-click it, install the dependencies, and yeah. So, pretty cool stuff. So, yeah, um, this may be a good option for some of you who want to have a nice enterprise-based uh, distribution. Sorry, I couldn't get more detailed for it, but, you know, curiosity killed the cat. I came, I saw, and now I got the t-shirt. <laughs> All right, and as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who bring the content you enjoy the most. Please consider disabling your ad blockers or shouting them some coins. Also, be sure to interact with me at www.cupoflinux.com. You can chat with me in my chat room, or you can interact with me on my forum. We'll see you there. Peace out.